What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to Canada. You ready to go to Canada? I'm so excited. Why are we going to Canada? I, I, don't, I don't even know. Like why are we going to Canada? I couldn't tell you. I think we just decided to do this last minute. Well fortunately it isn't that far. It's only like five hours from Cleveland plus some stops. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for us to get across the border. But uh, we will see and let's see what we can get into in like 24 hours in Canada because we're not going to be there very long. I am wasting all my time. Alright guys, welcome to Canada. Isn't that far of a drive? So coming from Cleveland, Ohio, you can either go east through Erie, Pennsylvania into Buffalo and then Buffalo's right on the border and the crossover. Or you can go west up uh, through Toledo and into Detroit over to Windsor. So Canada is, is pretty close to us. We're going to make a lot of road trips here moving forward. It wasn't that hard at all getting across the border. Typically the wait time could be anywhere from like 15 minutes to two hours. We waited about a half hour. Just basic questions from the cop at, uh, at the booth. Basically, you know, why are you coming here? How long are you staying? What are you bringing? You got anything illegal in your car? Obviously not. Super easy to get into right now. Posted up at the Holly Inn. And this is a pretty good quality Holly Inn. For the first time in a long time, I decided not to book a crappy hotel. I figured, hey, we're going out of the country. Let's be a little bit safer. Let's not play any games. So uh, I actually got a reasonable hotel. Let's check out this bathroom. Very nice. Got the walk-in shower with the glass doors. Very, very nice as well. And then you got Skylar still chilling on the bed, not knowing that we got to check out this place in like 30 minutes. So let's go, babe. Let's get up. Let's start moving. Come on. Let's go. Let's. This bed is ridiculously comfy. So yeah, if, if I could, I would lay in this thing all day. You want some breakfast, babe? Yes. Tim Horns? Yes. Tim Horns. Tim Horns. All right, let's get Tim Horns. Of course, it started raining. There's probably more rainy days in Canada than there are sunny days. This is why I don't think too many people take a vacation here. Thank you, you too. Package secured. Oh wait, can't hit that curb. Yes, we have Tim Hortons in the States, but it always tastes better in the motherland. Plus, I've never had it. I've never had it. We got the iced vanilla cappuccino for a scholar. I don't drink this stuff, but it's pretty good. And then a breakfast wrap with bacon, sausage, hash browns, egg, everything in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Great start in the morning, even though it is raining, so we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of the day over one day in Canada, because at first we're gonna go hiking and see a cool waterfall, but I'm not trying to do that if it rains all day. So we're gonna figure it out though. Hope you enjoyed another video today. First one I've ever done in Canada. Let's go. First time buying gas in another country, I assume it's about the same as the US. They're actually having me input a specific amount that I want to fuel up to. It's basically the same as going inside, telling them how much exactly you want. No, I don't want to spend $200 worth on gas, but this, this gas is pretty expensive. It might take that to fill up this Lincoln. Uh, what's not, okay, there we go. There we go. Another day, another time getting finessed at the gas pump. Every day of my adult life, gas has been expensive. I mean, I, I don't think I was driving when gas was two bucks to the gallon. I, I don't even know what that looks like. This is my first time being in Canada. I could probably see myself living here. Other than the simple fact that we were unprepared for how rainy it is and it is not as bright and sunny as Georgia is because it's more further north. So that's the only downside of Canada. I think there's something in my eyes. I cannot see your lies. You think that I'm surprised. Fall back into your traps. Send me all your eyes. Don't you think it's time for something? Hi guys, welcome to downtown Toronto. My god, this is even crazier driving down here than downtown Atlanta, I think. We found one thing to do in the rain. That's go to a Blue Jays game. They're playing the Yankees today. I'm super pumped because the Rogers Center is a dome and I assume they're gonna have the dome closed today. But it did stop raining right now, so maybe they'll open it up. Let me tell you something hot, babe. You ready for this? Do you know that I know how to speak French? I know how to speak French. I forgot that everything in Canada, it's in English and French. I took one semester of college uh, French and I bet you I can count to 10 right now. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, Diaz. That sounded a little Wait, Vietnamese to me. <laughs> that's that's like that's like French Vietnamese. That, that is broken 
French, English, Vietnamese all in one. I took, I took six months of French in college, could not tell you anything more than that. Everywhere we go, always sitting in traffic. I, I thought we just left Atlanta traffic, didn't we? <laughs> well, I mean, look at this, look at this. This Atlanta traffic. We didn't just, actually, hold on, one sec, hold on, I gotta get over. Our Canadians a little, little nicer than Americans, they should let me over, right? Please, thank you, please, 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 thank you, please, thank you, my bad, my bad, sorry. We didn't just wake up and decide to come to Canada. We came to Canada because I was dropping off some of my extended family who lives here, took them back from Ohio, and decided to turn it into a nice little road trip, which is what we love to do, I mean, once a month maybe? Do you think once a month to go on a road trip? Yeah, we, we, we spent a lot of money on a hotel. All right guys, made it to our second destination, Niagara Falls, about an hour and a half from Toronto. And you know, I couldn't go a single trip without booking a crappy hotel. So you know what I did? I booked a crappy hotel. This thing was like 90 bucks Canadian, which is like 70, 75 bucks US. This is called, what's this called? Falls Lodge by the Falls. It used to be a Knights Inn, and you know Knights Inns are not that good. Babe, are you ready? I'm nervous. Yeah, I, I am honestly kind of nervous too, because it's, this, is, uh, this is pretty sketch, but as of the experience. All right, this is the crappiest hotel we've ever stayed in. Period. Baby, you think so? You think this is officially the crappiest hotel we've ever stayed in? Zero out of ten. I mean, it is bad. We've stayed in some bad hotels, but dude, this is bad. Like, the, the door doesn't even have deadbolt on it. Look, this thing is missing. It's not there. This lock is so easy to bust open, probably. It's so ridiculous these blinds hardly shut closed i mean they just do and there's some weird people walking around outside right now not sure look at that and scott already ripped the blanket off of the bed right when we walked in because there's multiple stains on here as well as stains on the wall if you can see that there is literally a hole in the wall look at that i could literally you could probably bust that wall open with your foot yeah, TikTok sure. oh my God. i know it sucks right i know it sucks but it's something we love to do we're gonna look back on this and think, wow, that hotel was a, was really freaking crappy. Let's not do that again. Even though we are gonna do that again. This is fun, it is fun. I am wasting all my time. I'm messing up my mind. I only need someone. And I'd be ready for a sign. I'm ready for your touch. That is the last time for a while, I think that uh, we stay in one of those crappy hotels. I think we took Adding to the experience a little too far, we did not sleep that well last night. i um, kind of afraid that someone was going to just bang down that door and there's probably a bunch of cockroaches underneath our bed as well. So from here on out, at least for the near future, I think I'm going to get some better hotels. Guys, the day after I dropped this video is Skylar's 22nd birthday. Everyone take a sec on your laptop, on your phone, whatever you're watching this on, and wish her happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday's good. It's a weird year because last year was your 21st, huge deal, huge celebration, like lots of gifts, and then the year after is 22nd. I mean, what what is there to celebrate? But what is your number one goal in, uh, in this year, babe? What would you say? To hopefully buy a house, 2024. You want to get a house? Yes. Yeah. For the big backyard for Ellie Belly. For our dogs, yeah. And then I guess we'll be settling down and not traveling as much as we have. No, don't say that. I love traveling. No, we, we're going to travel. We're definitely going to travel. But yeah, it's uh, the goal is to settle down and, and get a house with a yard with so the dogs can run around and you know, ultimately thinking about the next step of our life, which is for the foreseeable future. My goal is to make your 22nd year as good as it possibly can be. I think every year we've we've been together, it's gotten a little bit more fun. I mean, I think we've we've had more adventures, we've been new places, we both made more money, so we're able to do more things. You know, it's it's been a, it's been a fun ride. So year 22 is gonna be uh, exciting.
isn't that pretty sweet drone shot the sun is trying to come through the clouds but the clouds are not letting it but uh back in uh cleveland it was a really fun quick trip a lot of driving and not that much time i am dead tired right now but i hope you enjoyed another road trip that skylar and i did we do these all the time it's a little different now when we lived in georgia we we're touring basically those neighboring states of florida south carolina tennessee north carolina etc now in ohio it's a little different where near us is obviously the canada border pittsburgh is about three hours away detroit is about three hours away and then chicago is only about five and a half six hours away stay tuned because we'll definitely make a road trip to chicago in the not so distant future because i've never been there as an adult i am i am due to go to chicago anyways i hope you enjoyed another video today as much as i did making it i think it's a pretty chill vlog overall if you did please drop me a thumbs up i really appreciate it also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because i drop a new video every single monday that you don't want to miss as always guys work hard be nice to people i'll see you guys next monday